In this video, we're going to talk about the inbreeding coefficient, which is a numerical estimate of inbreeding in a population and is represented by the letter F. Inbreeding is evident when alleles in an individual are identical by descent. Identical by descent means that the two alleles at a locus were inherited from consanguineous parents. And consanguineous just means that they share a recent common ancestor, so in other words, they're related. In contrast, identical alleles arising from things like mutation don't count as being identical by descent. Inbreeding is a concern in populations because as breeding continues within a familial lineage, the risk of inheriting two of the same deleterious alleles increases, and that can cause problems. A good example of how inbreeding can have a negative impact comes from the wolves of Isle Royale, where the population decreased to about eight wolves and vertebral deformities started to appear. Eventually the population dwindled to only two individuals and genetics confirmed that they were father and daughter as well as being half-siblings. Identifying an excess of homozygotes is a first clue that a population may be inbred. We identify homozygote excess by comparing the expected genotype frequencies under Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium with the observed frequencies in the population. We can calculate the inbreeding coefficient by subtracting the observed heterozygosity from the expected heterozygosity and dividing that number by the expected heterozygosity. The value of F varies from 0 to 1, with 0 representing no inbreeding and 1 representing complete inbreeding. As an example, the inbreeding coefficient for the offspring of those last two Alvarel wolves is 0 0.438, which is actually very high and is similar to some inbred captive populations.